Hi, it's Angie with the Vintage Quirk Shop. So today I thought that I would tell you the story of my cat. <laughs> I was thinking about it the other day because I I told some people and then I forgot that I told them and they were like, oh, I really like that cat story. Um, and then I was thinking about it last night with my husband because I saw a cat. And so here's the cat story. <laughs> So I used to have this cat, and um, his name is Galileo, and uh, he was this black, long-haired cat, uh, which is integral to the story. Um, and we were moving um, uh, to another state, and Galileo had never been in the car, and so I, <laughs> I took him to the vet, <laughs> and I, I asked him if he could, like, give me some, like, cat tranquilizers, um, in case he flipped out while we were driving because it was going to be a four-day drive. And um, so the vet said, yeah, and he gave me some some, some little cat quaaludes. And, um, but I never ended up needing them. And again, this is integral to the story. So um, remember, long-haired cat, cat tranquilizers. So... Um, so we got to where we were moving, and, and we lived there for about, like, a year, I guess. And um, Galileo started to develop um, some, like, tingles in his fur and his back legs. Um, I, I tried to keep up on brushing his fur, and it just, it must have gotten away from me or something, or I must have missed that area. I don't know what happened. But Galileo started developing some, like, mess. And, uh... I wasn't going to be able to brush him out. So I was like, what am I going to do? I can't leave him like that. I know that it could, if it went like long term, it could start like pulling on his skin and stuff like that. And I didn't want the cat to be uncomfortable. So I tried to think about it. And then I remembered, I remembered that I had the cat tranquilizers. And I was like, huh. And because Galileo wasn't the kind of cat that would just let you do things like he liked me and he would tolerate me, but even then it was just barely and it was always on his terms and he certainly wasn't going to lay there for a while while I trimmed some cat tangles out of his fur. That wasn't going to happen. Um, so I went and I got his cat tranquilizers because I still had them and I thought, I'll just give him a half. I'll just, I'll give him a half and then I'll just make him this is making basically stoned. And then I could cut, I could cut the, the, those little tingles off the back of his hair. And, um, cause he'll be, just be really relaxed and then I can do it. <laughs> it won't be a problem. It'll be fine. It'll be so fine. So anyhow, I waited till all my kids were busy or nap time or doing whatever. So it's just me and the cat. And I, um, I gave him, I gave him half, I gave him half of one of his cat tranquilizers. Um, and at that moment, I learned that it is a very, very good thing. <laughs> I never gave him one of those cat tranquilizers while we were traveling. And certainly not a full one. Because with that half of a tranquilizer, the cat became incontinent. <laughs> And then I, you know, we, he and I were shut up together in like a big bathroom and, um, I finally just set him in the bathtub because, well, <laughs> it was a mess. And like, he's really, really tired and he's stumbling around and he's just, he's incontinent. And, um, I'm just, I don't even know what to do at this point. Um, cause I'm certainly not going to drug him again. And, and then I had a moment where I just started laughing at myself because, like, I just drugged a cat and then tried to, like, shave his crotch area. <laughs> it was like, really? What was I thinking? And um, so in desperation, I there, there are, at least not where I was living, there were not cat groomers. So in desperation, I call a dog groomer and I explain the situation. I said, okay, this is going to sound really, really crazy. But um, I essentially slipped my cat a Mickey and um, 
because he has these mats and he needs them clipped. Um, but I just, I don't really feel confident at this point in my ability to do it. And I don't want to accidentally hurt him. So could you guys like squeeze in a cat? And um, after they got done laughing at me, <laughs> they did. They did. They squeezed in my cat who was still completely stoned. I had to take him there. Um you know, in his little cat kennel in a towel, I cleaned him up the best that I could. And they, um, they got him all shaved, which it looks really, really silly because he has very, very long hair, except for now in the back half of his body, like the back of his legs and his little cat areas. Anyhow, everything was shaved back there. It was like a cat Brazilian. Anyway, and so, you know, and when he, when he finally came to like all the way, he was totally giving me side eye for a long time. Like keeping an eye on you, you slip people Mickey's and then shave them. So, um, <laughs> so that's the story of the time I slipped my cat a tranquilizer. Okay. Bye.